Yes, how do we emancipate people from the foolishness of the drug war? How do we, as a community, as a point of view, how do we gain legitimacy? This is a, a really important question. I mean, if you look around yourself tonight, uh, you don't see uh, the uh, uneducated, the unhealthy, the demented, or the deluded. And yet, this is the stereotype of our subculture. Uh, instead, what you see are well-dressed, creative people holding down positions in society, the parents of children, the heads of departments, the authors of books, the painters of paintings. Uh, you may not have noticed, but in this society, they're not handing out rights. Ask black people. Ask members of any sexual minority. They don't hand out rights in this society. And uh, we, meaning we psychedelic people, by and large, this isn't always true, but by and large we tend to be white and middle class. Uh, a translation of those two terms into gutless would not be inappropriate. We, we have the most to lose. And so we're not given to hurling ourselves into the breach or building barricades in the street to uh, hurl our bodies against the machine. Nevertheless, uh, if you don't claim your political birthright, it will never be given to you. And black people, and gay people, and uh, American Indians, Native Americans, all of these people have learned that you don't go on bended knee to petition the official culture for your rights. You have to take them. And people ask me, you know, how can you stand up and say the things you do? Why don't they take you away? They don't take me away because they're more chicken shit than you think. They're more off balance than you think. They're more uncertain of themselves than you think. The legitimacy of this point of view is uh, established in their minds. The reason drugs are illegal and suppressed and blah, blah, is because you can make a shitload of money off them in that context. It's a money issue. Do you think a loving government is trying to keep you from jumping out of third floor windows and that's why LSD is illegal? I mean, give me a break for crying out loud. If this government felt uh, strongly enough about certain issues, all of us between 18 and 26 would be sent off to die for that policy decision. So the government is not interested in your health. The government is artificially interested in inflating uh, the prices of certain substances in order to create a, uh, a focus for clandestine money that is used then to destabilize unfriendly governments, murder labor union leaders, kill and blackmail the editors of left-wing newspapers, so forth and so on. Drugs are enormous big business, and not psychedelic drugs. Psychedelic drugs, the only one that ever amounted to anything as a financial enterprise was uh, cannabis. And cannabis is uh, many things besides psychedelic. Uh, the, the, the deep, dramatic psychedelics, which are all Schedule One, the most repressed schedule, uh, don't produce great amounts of money at all. What they do produce is questioning minds. They cause people to ask questions. They cause people to ask for clarification. They cause people to challenge cultural values because they decondition you. It doesn't matter whether you're a Hasid, a communist apparatchik, a rainforest shaman. If you take psychedelics, you will question your first premises. And that is a business that all governments, right, left, middle, are in the business of repressing. They don't want to have to explain why things are done as they are. But if we don't begin asking for that explanation, they're going to run this planet right into ruin. And uh, we are the generation
generation responsible. You are the generation of respons- that is responsible. You can't claim that you grew up in a village in Nigeria and you didn't know. You can't claim that you're uh, the child of poor Bangladeshi parents and you had no opportunity. The responsibility rests upon the educated and the financially capable of doing something about it. And by that measure, you and I are probably in the upper 3% of people on this planet. And if we don't take responsibility, then that responsibility will devolve to others, BDI'd others, with an agenda that would stand your hair on end. Yes, over here.